Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, so this is how you know you got to execute the do while loop. All right, fine. Now let's concentrate on this if else. Okay, let me execute it in the debug mode. Step into, click on OK, and then again F11. It is asking me to enter the choice. I will enter the worst condition that is 7. Click on OK, and just observe what it is going to do. So it is currently on the line number 11, okay. I press F11, it comes to line number 13, then again F11, line number 15, 17, line number, yeah, 11, uh, line number 17, again F11, line number 19, then 21, 23, then this gets executed. So what can we see here? If at, if at all I give the worst condition that is 7, it is not going to directly jump to 7. It is going to check all the intermediate values and then come to 7. Which is nothing but it's going to put the delay into our program. Our program becomes inefficient if it starts taking so much of time. You might feel, okay, it is like hardly milliseconds, you know, and why are we worrying so much? But when it comes to the execution of the program, and here there is just, you know, few lines of code, but in the real time there will be a lot of lines of code, wherein even a millisecond is going to make a lot of difference. Okay? So that is the reason we should try to make the program as much as efficient as possible. Okay? So let's see how we can do it. I enter 2 here and I come out of the loop. Okay, fine. So how do we implement it in a better way? The better way is use the select case. Okay, a new type of branching statement, we call it as a select case. So instead of using the if condition, I use the select. Do you see? Select case and then mention the choice that is vnum over here and then start writing the cases. Case 1. What is case 1? Message box should be equal to Sunday. Okay. Next. Case 2. Okay. The same thing. I will write it as case 2. Then. Message box equal to this time it should be Monday. Do you see here what we are trying to do? We are using the select case instead of the if condition. So I got to write like you know case 2, case 3, write all the cases up to else. Okay, so this is case 3 and then I have case 4. 
then I have case 5 and I have case 6 then case 7 and the last case will always be case else like you have the if else here we have the case else means if all the above statements are false then the last one will get executed then I want the message box Tuesday I put it over here then I want message box Wednesday I cut it and you know put it over here then Thursday here Friday here Saturday here and then case is invalid here okay okay then let me remove this entire thing we don't need any more these if conditions okay remaining things will be the same okay I'm only changing the if condition I'm replacing the if with the select case do you see here I've replaced the entire if with the select case this is so simple select case and then name of the variable and if the variable value is 1 it will display Sunday Monday Tuesday and so on now let's again check this in deep mode whether our program is efficient or not okay so f11 again all right and then enter the choice I will enter the worst choice that is 7 click on ok just have a look here if I press f11 where it goes do you see it directly jump to the k7 it did not check all the intermediate values it, ju it jumped directly to the k7 and it will display Saturday to me did you observe that okay is it efficient than your if else your if else is going to take more time and this is going to take less time it is efficient in terms of programming clear everybody okay you want to try it out okay good try it out remove the if and then replace it with case Uh, sure Veera see I can scroll it up a bit you can start writing from here line number 5 you can start writing ok Veera okay Lavanya the difference is you know in terms of the efficiency that I showed you okay in the if else what happens you know if there are multiple choices then it will start executing all the intermediate conditions right 
but in the case it directly jumps to the one that you have mentioned. Yes, the functionality is the same, okay, but the only difference is um, that, you know, the efficiency part is different, okay. Done Manisha Prerna? Okay, fine. See, the result will be the same, okay? The result doesn't change, Madhu. Only the thing is, it will become more efficient, okay? Faster. Okay? The re results will be same. No change in the results. Okay, everybody? Fine. Shall we go to the next one? Okay. So this is a select case. So when you have the multiple values, then you can go for the select case instead of, you know, going for if else, which is less efficient. Then, so now we have practiced two control statements, that is if condition and then the select case. And in the loops, we have done one thing. So this is the branching. And in the branching, we did the different types of if and then also the select case. Okay, now let's look at the looping. In the looping, we have done do while. Next, we will look at the for loop. For loop is much more simpler than this. Okay, let me show you. For, I say, i equal to 1 to 6. Then I'll print it over here, message box. You can give any statements that got to execute, okay? And then I say I. Let's see how this executes. Click on the run button. Click on OK. So it starts from 1 because we are telling start from 1. And then 2, 3, 
4, 5 and 6 and then it ends. Do you see? So it is going to execute for how many times? 6 times. It is going to start with 1 and it will be ending with 6. Okay. And by default it is going to increment by how much? So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.